everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be part three of my decluttering series. So we're going to be doing primers and powders, which I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I don't use a lot of them and then I still have way too many. So I'm going to go through every single one that I have, give you a little review and decide, do I keep it? Do I not keep it? You can, as always, let me know in the comments, Emily, don't keep it. Emily, keep it. Or Emily, try this one. So we're going to start with the primers that are right here. So I tried to film this video once and I accidentally deleted it. So it's going to be pretty quick because I pretty much already know what I'm getting rid of. So the first thing is going to be the e.l.f. Uh, mineral face primer. I'm getting rid of this simply because because I'm not crazy about like silicone based uh, primers and this one is one of them and I just don't reach for this over any other products in here so I'm gonna get rid of this I'm gonna pass it along to someone else and then I have the makeup forever HD uh, primer this is the old formula I don't even know if they still sell this anyway uh, I'm almost out of it I've been like trying to finish it off and it's not bad it feels like a lotion but I'm gonna trash it because I've had this for a long time but it wasn't bad at all and I wouldn't mind using it again I'm gonna pass along this tiny sample of the Makeup Forever. Um, this is the hydrating primer that I do have and I like, but I'm not gonna use the, like, the sample. Like it's just not realistic. I'm gonna pass it along, but I'm gonna keep the, this is actually a travel size. I don't know what happened to it. It's so dirty, but I love this. I actually wish I got a big size of this one over this one, which is the uh, Radiant Primer. This one kind of has like a blue tinge to it. It's good, I like it, but I think I prefer this one over it. So if I had to do it all over again, I would probably just get this one. I have a second one from um, NYX and I don't hate it, but I feel like I don't see like a huge difference either just because I already use like moisturizer and like everything I can to have like brightening, a brightened face. So I feel like this, I don't see a huge difference, but I'm still trying them out. So I will be uh, letting you know what I think soon for sure. I have a bunch of like tiny primers. Okay. I swear it's an addiction. Like I have so many. I've been recently trying to finish them off because it's just ridiculous, but I always get them at like Sephora whenever they have like a hundred point perks or a free uh, gift with purchase. So I have a ridiculous amount. The only one I'm gonna get rid of is the MAC Prep and Prime because I believe I'm allergic to something in there. So I'm gonna pass it along to someone else. All of these I'm gonna keep simply because why not? I wanna try the formula. I like the um, Smashbox hydrating one. I'm currently trying to use up this one, which I'm gonna actually keep. So I do like it. I wouldn't mind uh, using a full size, but like I'm trying to finish all of them so I can have an idea what I like, what I don't like. So those are the ones that I have. And I always get the Hourglass uh, Mineral Veil Primer whenever it's on brand perks because it cost an arm and a leg. So I prefer getting like the free little purchase. Okay. Speaking of that, I have the small size that I did purchase and I also got the serum version. Serum version is basically oil. Uh, it feels really nice. If you have dry skin, it's a nice one. If you don't have dry skin, go for this one instead. It's great too. Uh, so far, I like both of them, but I feel like primer is the one thing that I always skip if I forget a step in my makeup, which I need to never do again because I have a ridiculous amount. Oh, another 100 point perks. This is the Laura Mercier one. I've used a full size of this in the past and I like it. This one fell, uh, it's the Bright Prep effects, whatever, brightening foundation primer with SPF at 50. It's completely empty actually. There's probably like one more use, but again, it's old. So I'm going to uh, trash it simply because I tested it enough. It's empty basically. Uh, it's good. I was using it basically as sunscreen and it was great, but it's very brightening. So once I actually tried to use it as only sunscreen, I forgot to put powder over it and oh, I looked a little crazy. So just keep that in mind, but it's a great brightening one. Then I have two uh, brightening primer. I have the uh, L'Oreal Magic Lumi. Really like this one. It's very, very liquidy though. You do have to remember to shake. And then there's the NYX Angel Veil. This one is more of a um, cross between this one, like a really luminous one slash uh, silicone based one. So it's also good, but I think I prefer the uh, L'Oreal one. Oh, another 100 bright perks. I'm keeping them. I'm just going to test them all and I'll finish them. It's going to be my goal in the next like, couple of weeks to try to finish all of them. I do like the Too Faced Angover um, Replenishing Face Primer. It's good, it's silicone free, and it smells like coconut, personally. Don't don't throw rocks at me, but I don't like coconuts. Uh, but I do like it, so I'm gonna keep using this. I finally have the MAC Strobe Cream. I've recently started to try it again. I do like it. I'm not sure I prefer it over the uh, L'Oreal one. I think it's a bit thick, even though like I have dry skin, but I prefer like really lightweight primer. I've been at least like discovering what I like and don't like. 
And last but not least, I have a full size of the uh, Benefit Professional. I did finish a sample size of this one and I adore it. I need to like start using this, but I told myself I would wait till I finish all the sample size, which I haven't done yet. So it's time because I want to start using this. I really like it. This is what I'm left with, a little bit more reasonable. I'm not getting rid of that much when you look at it, but those are all the, one, the ones that are getting out of my collection to the trash. And then those little three will be re-housed uh, to someone else. <laughs> I really like the Hourglass powders. At first, when I first tried this, actually, I didn't like them. I was like, why is everyone raving about these? Like, I don't see anything on my face, but it actually blurs out your pores and it just gives you a little uh, natural glow to it. your face. It's just, now I can't live without them. I can't want to just hoard all the colors, but at first I didn't understand why people were loving them. It grew on me, let's just say that. Holy Grail product is the Laura Geller. This is the Balance and Brighton powder. This one is in the color uh, regular, which is basically my like middle of summer color, but that's the first thing I purchased. I had purchased this one, uh, I think on Old Look, and I adore this. This is the best powder ever. It's like the most natural looking powder. It looks like skin, I adore it. But like I said, it was pretty dark. So whenever I went to the US, because it's not available in Canada, I got a lighter shade. This one is the color Fair. It did change the packaging. This one doesn't say it has SPF, which this one has SPF 15. And my complaint was the fact that it has like a really bad flashback. Like I look like a ghost in picture. So I got this one. I feel like I feel like this one is different. This one is kind of almost like a almost shimmery finish. So I'm not sure what happened. Let me know if you know if this one is just discontinued or something because I like this one better than I like this one. And they are called the same thing, like Baked, Balanced, and Brighten Foundation. So let me know if you know what happened. This one doesn't seem to have an SPF, so at least that's that. But I like this one much better. I adore this powder. If you have dry skin, you need the Sensitive Press Powder. I did uh, try the Normal Skin one and don't do it. Just don't do it because it smells really strongly of perfume. So unfortunately, even though the powder is just as good, the smell is just too much for me. Actually, just opening it, I'm like, nope, <laughs> I'm closing this. So I'm getting rid of these two because I just can't deal with the scent. Actually, let me make a space to getting rid of. But I adore this. This is like my third time buying one. They used to have like a darker green one. This is amazing. If you have dry skin, this is fantastic. Again, looks like skin. It doesn't have a flashback and I adore it. So there's nothing else to say. It is pretty light for me though. So I'm gonna go through the rest of my powders and decide if I have enough like dark shades. If I need a darker one, I would get it in this formula. Another light powder that is just as good would be the Maybelline Fit Me. Again, like the CoverGirl one, uh, if you have dry skin, I feel like it doesn't emphasize the dryness or anything. So it's a great powder. I feel like in the light, it almost looked like there's like shimmer in it. I'm confused. I've never noticed it on my face though. But this one is like a little like, it feels like it sits a little bit more on my skin than the CoverGirl one. So if I had to choose, I think I would go with the CoverGirl one, but this is also a great one. I'm gonna pass this one along. This is the Pure Mineral uh, Press Mineral P Makeup. It's a great powder, but I have too many and I wouldn't reach for like a sample size like this, a travel size, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna reach for this one over the other ones. And this one has an SPF too, so that would mean that would probably be a flashback too. So I did use it, I like it. It works just fine. Like it's nice whenever you use it, but I won't reach for a small size over a big size. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I need to get rid of some. So it's not necessarily that they're bad products, it's just that I don't want to keep them in my collection. Same thing with the e.l.f. press powder. Um, I have the color porcelain. I know I finished the other one that I had, which is was which was one shade darker than this one. The thing is, <laughs> porcelain is like really not porcelain. Like this is pretty dark and very, very yellow. The darker one that I had was like a better match, which was really weird. Um, this one is pretty thick. It does tend to make your skin look a little cakey if you have more like combo skin. It's not bad, but I wouldn't repurchase and I'm not gonna keep it. It's just not the best one on my skin and I have so many that there's no point of keeping one that I don't love. This one is the Sleek Makeup Luminous uh, Powder. This one I'm gonna pass along. I have the shade number two, which when I opened it, I bought this online obviously, so you don't always find great swatches. Look at this. <laughs> Does it look like it's gonna match me? <laughs> No, so I haven't touched it. Uh, it's very shimmery, almost bronzer for me. I'm gonna ask a friend if she wants to uh, use it. She might want to use it as an highlighter or something. Anyway, I'll pass it along. We'll see what happens to it. I'm getting rid of the uh, MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural simply because I realize I'm allergic to, whoa, to corn, which there's some corn in there and it breaks me out like crazy. So I'm gonna pass this along. It's not a bad powder. I do prefer uh, the Studio Fix that you're gonna see just after. But yeah, I, I don't even know why I still have it. I'm probably gonna let like my sister use it up and then like back to my kit. 
But if I have to recommend one, it would be the Studio Fix, this one. I have the color NC15, which again is when I went the first time to MAC and someone helped me. They matched me to NC, which I'm not, so it still matches for me. Like, I still can use it. Well, like, it's a great powder. It has some really great coverage. It does have a flashback, but it does give you a little bit of coverage. I adore it. It's really smooth. I would get a darker shade of this too. Like, like I said, the CoverGirl one, that would be like the higher version that I would uh, get. But again, I don't think I need another powder anytime soon. I have dry skin. I barely use powder, so not a necessary step for me. The other one I'm getting rid of is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder simply because this is the, like the first version they came out with and it has a glitter in it. It looks good inside the house. You go outside and you're like, whoa, why do I have glitter all over my eyes? This thing. Um, it does a great job, but like I said, glitter. Apparently the new version doesn't have glitter, but right now, like I said, don't need the powder. So I'm going to pass this one along. Actually, probably going to have to trash it because I don't know anyone that would like to have glitter under their eyes. Um, a few... A few loose one, I love the NARS. This is the uh, translucent crystal light reflecting uh, setting powder. Adore this, it's like really dirty, but you know, it is with the NARS packaging. It's great if I have, I have dry skin, but it doesn't emphasize a dryness neither on my face or under my eyes. So would repurchase. I am glad I have it. There's a ton of product left, even though I use it quite a bit. So adore keeping it. This is basically a drugstore version. This is the Maybelline uh, Master Fix. I only tried it a couple times. So I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this, but I'm going to keep it for now. And then I have the Makeup Forever uh, HD High Definition Powder. I've only tried this a couple times. I'm going to keep it for now, but if a friend wants to try a like loose powder, I will give that to her because it's good, but like I don't need three. It's just trying to be reasonable, completely failing. Well, I did get rid of a couple. Okay, <laughs> next one. This one is the e.l.f. SPF 45 sunscreen powder. Um, I'm gonna keep it for fun. <laughs> I've tried a couple times outside and I didn't end up burning. I use it on my face and on my body, like on my arms and stuff, and it didn't burn. So I don't know if it's because it's working or I just got lucky or something, but I'm gonna keep it. It's fun. If I don't use it up really soon, I'm gonna pass it along or trash it because, you yeah. know, but it's loose powder that kind of like lasts forever. So I'm going to keep it for now. <laughs> okay, last two. I have the Revlon Nearly Naked powder. This one is the color uh, light, which I don't know about you guys, but I don't think this is light. Um, I think there's one lighter shade though. I'm going to keep it because I do need a darker shade than the other ones that I have. I feel like I always end up buying powder during the middle of winter. No idea why. Um, it's a great powder. It's not bad. But I don't need much for a powder for me because I don't need necessarily coverage. I don't need to like it to control my oil or anything. It's just to set my uh, foundation a little bit. So it's not bad, but I would repurchase the CoverGirl or the Maybelline one over this one. Last but not least, there's the Urban Decay. This is the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder. I have the Light Medium Neutral, Medium Light Neutral. Uh, again, it's a powder. It has some actually good coverage. It's extremely smooth. Like you touch this and you're like, wow, is it like creamy or something? Um, there is some coverage as you can see. It feels nice on the skin, doesn't break me out, uh, doesn't emphasize any dryness. I think the whole line of like naked skin is amazing. So yeah, I don't regret having it, but I don't reach for it quite a bit, but I'm hoping because I decluttered a couple, I will reach for this. It's a darker shade. So these two should be like closer with the, uh, actually, these three should be in my bag right now so I can start using darker shades. So this is what I'm getting rid of or trashing. So I think I did not too bad. What do you think? Is there some things that I should keep or trash that I didn't? Or give away, I mean, that I didn't? So let me know. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future one of those decluttering because I'm doing one a week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.